Hey everyone, this is Mike Bradshaw, founder of Axis Squared LLC, and I'm going to make a few videos showing you the disassembly and greasing and rebuilding of a Celestron CG4 mount. Um, there are other mounts from other brands that are almost exactly the same internally, so you could apply the same effort to a couple different brands. Um, but this is a common mount these days. It's, uh, it's a decent enough design. The design goes back a couple of decades. But the new ones are just not being made very well. And with a little bit of work, you can get your mount to behave much, much better. So this is going to be a series of videos on the complete disassembly, upgrading, and reassembly of these mounts. And you're going to learn some tricks along the way. And I'm making these videos because there's so many of these around. I want you guys to be able to work on them yourselves as well. Uh, so I'm also going to be showing uh, certain tools that you might find useful that you don't have. Uh, so watch the videos ahead of time and you can learn a bit from that. And some techniques and tricks that I have. And we'll go from there. So in the next video, I'm going to... Uh, jump right in but for right now I'm going to show you this is a fresh out of the box factory CG4 mount okay and so this was uh, I've not opened this up yet uh, this is basically right out of the box the only thing that's not factory is this mount down here this is actually from an old Super Polaris mount because the CG4 is a I will say grandchild of the Super Polaris and the mount works the same. This is good. Uh, this mounting plate I have is, is useful because I can set the whole telescope up on a table and work on it without needing a tripod, and so it gets some stuff out of the way. Uh, you don't need one of these, or you could take the one that came with it in the box. This is the head of the tripod, and you can just take the legs off and use this. Uh, it just makes things more stable, but you don't technically need it. Just It's kind of helpful. Um, as well, this CG4 does not have any motors or anything like that on it. One of the things that we will do at the end of the video is we'll put a dual axis drive system on here. And I'll show you how that all mounts up and how to use that. And when this is all said and done, uh, I actually have two of these that are factory fresh. I'm going to work on both of them. And when it's all said and done, we'll have both of them for sale uh, through Axis Squared. So you'll be able to see... Uh, if you don't have one of these yet and you want one that's been upgraded, you'll be able to buy one from us. Or if you have one, we could do an uh, exchange. Or you'll be able to take your own, and with a bit of effort, you'll be able to do your own work on it. So in the next video, we'll jump right in, and we'll take a look at the inside of this stuff.